number one, they stimulate and motivate struggling learners. You know, struggling learners are having a hard time feeling like they want to do a lesson. So when you do a lesson that incorporates fun, exciting things, they want to actively participate. And it's good for their health because you're giving them uh, physical exercise. And we know we all need to exercise more each day because there is a problem here in the United States and maybe in some other countries with obesity, especially in children. So we need to try to put physical activity into as many lessons as we possibly can, parents and teachers. Now also number two benefit is this helps teach English language learners how to speak the American language of English because they're working all together doing oral language. They're getting that exercise at the same time and feeling good about themselves and feeling and feeling good physically. Number three benefit is using the whole brain. These lessons that I have written are opens up both sides of the brain, the right and the left. A lot of lessons that we teachers teach only are using one side of the brain and those children who don't work very well with that side of the brain that we're using, they're being left out. So I want to make sure that all children are getting the benefit of the lesson. And number four, it promotes good behavior and physical health. So boys and girls love activity. It's almost like a like you're disguising the learning of spelling uh, words by doing the physical activity with it. There is so much research in this area of using hand movements and physical activity to help boys and girls or anybody retain information. Please make a comment. Let me know if I'm doing a good job for you and also you can subscribe to my channel, Sunday Hefner. Thank you so much and have a fun, fun day.